Welcome to the Tayport Community Garden and you wouldn't believe it being outside today but summer is on its way and Kath and I are preparing hanging baskets for the summer. Uh, there'll be lots of these for sale probably at the end of May at the garden gate here. So just to give you an idea about what you can do at home if you wanted to set one up, first of all get hold of your blanket, your basket, you can get some of this with the coir blanket inside. Or you can get slightly nicer looking ones that have been made of this is woven willow. Can I ask Peter, this one has got a kind of waterproof lining, does yes. it matter what type you use? Uh, it's waterproof lining, just make sure that it's got some drainage holes in it so ah, that okay. it doesn't remain really wet. Okay. Uh, the other thing about using a slightly larger basket, there's mm -hmm. another one for example, mm. quite an exotic one. It looks beautiful, yes. I love it. Is the bigger it is, the less often you have to water it. The smaller, ah, the, okay. the, smaller mm -hmm. the basket, you have to water them a lot. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. if it's an exposed position in yeah. full sun and with air circulating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in order to try and minimise having to water too frequently, we've added some of this moisture mm. control gel, mm -hmm. which read very carefully what it says, because if you put too much in, and then water the basket, it will swell up oh. and all the compost will <laughs> oh come dear. out. Oh dear, oh dear, we definitely don't want that then. No. Um, some people like to have baskets when they can cut a hole yeah. mm -hmm. and put a trailing plant mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. but I've found that that actually makes the drying process much, much faster. Uh, okay. So what I prefer to do is to get a range of trailing plants, mm -hmm. so we have the Serfina petunias, which are really good, they'll trail over the basket. Beautiful, they look lovely. The Lobelia is mm -hmm. a similar thing, all the cascading yep. plants. Yep. And of course it wouldn't be complete without some of the foliage plants of that course, you can get in yeah. So this one here is one called Dichondria. Mm, lovely the leaves. Lovely seal silver yeah, foliage. Beautiful. And if you're a bit worried about the fact that that coir is going to show, mm, don't be, because no. after a couple of weeks it should hide it. Mm -hmm. Another very good one, and a very good drought resistant one, is ah. this Hylochrysum. Uh -huh. And you can tell by its felty grey leaves that it yeah. will be quite drought resistant. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. So, Kath, which one do you want to fill? Oh, uh, let's go for this one let's first, go for the one? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Okay, so the first so thing to do is to make sure your chain's not going to get buried in the compost. Okay, right. And just fill it up. I'm not, I'm not, it's not impacted or anything, it's just very nice, loose, that's right. Loose compost. If anything, oh, right to the top. No, well, you make sure that you've got just done it a ah, few times. Ah, okay, yep. And then so always awesome. leave a rim of about an inch around the top so that when you are watering the basket, it doesn't act like a duck's back and just shed the water. Ah, okay, okay, correct. So I would never have thought of these points, really useful. So you can put them in any which way you want. So okay. Just tip them out. Oh, right, now, wait a minute, let me just get this, so tip them out. Ooh, so that's there the we are. Petunia. Yeah. Now, how am I going to put it in though? I'm digging a hole for it, presumably, yeah. Yep. That's right, we, um, we do this on the bench, so if any spilt compost, it doesn't uh -huh, matter. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I just put, put the it hole... as close to the edge as you oh, can. Oh, okay, With right. the body of the plant facing, facing that way. Facing that way, so that would, be, that would be okay, would it, like that, yeah? These are quite large okay. plants to use. Uh, you'll probably find that you can get them in smaller sizes. Uh -huh, yeah. And if you're starting them off as early as this, as long as you've got somewhere frost free to hang them up mm -hmm. and grow them on. Mm -hmm. okay. It's just that the only plants available at this time of year were these large ones yep. for mm -hmm. probably containers. But mm -hmm. it's, especially on a day like today, it reminds you that it's way too early to yeah, start putting to start. tender plants outside. Mm -hmm. But this is for demo purposes only. Yeah. Uh, we will have uh, quite a big delivery of hanging basket material plants arriving next month. Ah, okay. And our mm -hmm. baskets should be ready to sell by the beginning of June. Super. Which well, is the received mm, time that you should put you should tender put plants out. Right. So Thank foliage. You. Okay. Lovely. I'll just go round. I think I'll just go round the edge here. Mm -hmm. And dig out some. And oh, there we are. I just love that the leaf on this one. Fantastic. So I'm just um, pushing it down. The range of plants you can get See. is really quite oh, amazing. No. I didn't, I didn't. Uh, obviously, petunias are very, very common. Mm -hmm. Lobelia. But you also get trailing ivy leaved geraniums. Mm -hmm. They are very good for someone who's got a busy 
life and um, may forget to water now and again because they're much more drought resistant. Am I planting these? Uh, is that too far apart? No, think, that's just fine. If you think we've okay, got we've got five plants. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Should, would you think should we're try and put one in? in the middle. Ah, okay. Any suggestions? Which one? Is well, this one is, is Scavola. Uh -huh. And as you can see from its habit, it's much more kind of like prostrate. Uh -huh. So it possibly so it'll come will between come through and then come perfect. over the sides. Okay, good advice. Thank you. Just get that one done. There we are. It's always worth maybe reading the labels to make sure that you are going to get some kind of tumbling or trailing plants to uh -huh. use in this respect. Yeah. And would you, uh, are you going to put a list on our website or, or, or Facebook page about recommended uh, yeah, plants? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably put a list of what I've ordered ah, for our baskets yeah, for it, so yeah, that no people great. know what to expect exactly. if they're going to buy them off us. Yeah, so this one, so I'm planting it that way, okay. They they're all really well grown plants yeah. with good root systems on them. So they should. Oh no, not dug a hole deep enough there. As I say, don't worry if you're spilling some as you're putting yeah. the plant in. You could always top it up once you've finished. Uh -huh. yeah, of course. Yeah. The other oh. thing that you could do, of course, is just put a small amount of compost in. Yep. Then put and your then plants and then yeah. backfill. Yep. I'm just going to put a wee bit more around that one. There mm -hmm. we are. And I'll put this And the last one is there. Perfect. And these baskets should last right up until the end of summer. Right. Into, into okay. September. Into September. Great. So they're really good value for mm -hmm. for money. Now so we were hunting earlier for a bucket. Yes. Uh, and, and you, you were wondering why. No, <laughs> I did. I was very curious as to where right. the bucket comes in. Well, so once you have your basket filled. Uh -huh. It's very useful to put it onto a, bu a bucket so that when we do the watering, looks a wee bit messy just now. The basket won't, on its own on the ground, may be prone to tipping over. Yep. Because this way it won't. And I also. Think that's a really good tip actually. And then when we are doing the watering, we can leave it for the water to soak through and we'll catch it in the bucket. Uh -huh. Super. So there you have it. Keep it in a warm, frost-free place, mm -hmm. and don't. You can leave it in the bucket or leave it on top of a large flower pot yep. until you're ready to have it exactly. going outside. Great. And with all half-hardy perennials and uh, annuals, it's always a good idea to harden them off. Mm -hmm. And that's the process whereby you put them out during the day, bring them back in at night, them back in. because yeah. if they go out too soon. They can go literally blue with the cold uh -huh. and uh, checks really? them quite badly. Uh, yeah. yeah, and so other than that, you hang them up and you let your basket do what what it does. Yes, yeah. uh, I'd recommend Any other maintenance. Uh, feeding. Ah, okay. At mm -hmm. least once a week during the growing season, uh, feed with a proprietary plant okay. food, liquid plant mm -hmm. food. Okay. And it's always a quite a nice idea to invest in one of the lances that fit mm -hmm. onto the end of your hose system so uh -huh. that you just need yeah, to walk, so you don't have to take the blanket yeah. uh, basket down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So Great. there you have it. We'll give you a shout when they're ready for sale. Good. Fantastic. Thank, thank you, you very Peter. Much. And thank you. Lovely.